that's the worst bird's nest I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Look at this little bluegill right here. Beautiful fish. Look at that thing. Oh god, there's another rod and reel here. What in the world? <laughs> Where did this come from? Oh god, okay. Don't look right at it! Oh, okay. All right, Pierce, you got a fish. Real, and now swing into it. There you go. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video, and boy, do I have a special treat for you guys of the Lojo Fishing Fam. As most of you people know, it's kind of difficult to use a bait casting fishing reel for the very first time. I'm sure we all have our own stories of how terrible it was our first time. I know for me personally, it was a freaking disaster. So I started thinking to myself, it would be really fun for me to attempt to teach somebody. So I'm thinking, who can I teach? And who better to teach than my boy, Pierce back there. Pierce, show him what you're working with. There we go, there's Pierce Man. You guys recognize him. He's been fishing with us on this channel many times, wielding that bait casting combo easy like a lightsaber. So Pierce is nine years old now and he has done some fishing. He's used some spinning combos, some spinning gear. He's used a lot of push button stuff, but he has never used bait casting gear. So teaching him how to do this is gonna be a little interesting. Now I selected this spot specifically because it's wide open. It's gonna give him plenty of room to cast without having to worry about snagging on things, but it's still gonna be a struggle. Buddy, I hope you're ready for this. Now there's no pressure, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take care of you. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know, but it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle, but the weather looks beautiful. This pond is just juiced up, ready to go. We've already seen a couple bass hanging out and they're just waiting to be caught. So this will be your first fish on bait casting gear and you might just catch a big one. Yeah, if you catch it, but I mean, I got a good feeling. Guys, I brought a multitude of different kinds of lures to throw because we all know different lures are either easier or more difficult to throw with bait casting gear. Obviously, the heavier lures are gonna be easier and once you start getting lighter, like maybe a weightless Texas rig setup, those are a little bit more difficult. I am going to guide him along the way though. I'm gonna take care of his tension knob, I'm gonna take care of the brakes and kind of ease him into it. But one thing's for sure, Bird's nests are not far away. If you guys end up enjoying this video and want to see more like it, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. And if we can get 2,000 likes, Pierce, okay, 2,000 likes, we are going to bring my wife, his mom, Holly, out here and let her try to use a bait caster. And guys, let me tell you something. Holly has never used bait casting gear and she's pregnant right now, okay? <laughs> so that would be amazing. So guys, smash that thumbs up button right now. Let's get 2,000 likes and make her learn how to use a bait caster next. All right, man, are you ready? I think so. All right, I think you're ready. We're gonna get your first lure rigged up and let you at it. All right, guys, so this is the combo that we're gonna start Pierce off with. I didn't wanna give him like the worst reel ever, and I also didn't wanna give him the nicest stuff ever. So this is just your basic lose mock crush combo. So pretty, you know, middle of the road or to, to a little bit of a higher end combo, but I think this is gonna be perfect for him to start with. I've also got him tied on what's considered to be a pretty easy lure to throw. And that is just a little 3 8 ounce lipless crankbait. I'm also gonna take care of his tension right off the bat. I'm gonna make it pretty tight. That way it's gonna be pretty difficult to throw a bird's nest right off the bat. I'm gonna max his brakes out. In fact, I'm gonna turn the internal brakes on pretty good because I don't want him to just snap right off the bat and throw the worst bird's nest of his life. So we're gonna make it pretty difficult to throw a bird's nest in the beginning. All right, Pierce, so basically this is how this reel works. You got your little thumb release button right there, and when you push it, you see that the bail starts moving, okay? So just like spinning gear, you're gonna hold the line with your thumb, okay? Now while holding it, you're gonna rear back, you're gonna cast it, and this is where the interesting part comes, okay? While your bait is in the air, while it's flying, before it hits the water, you have to stop that again. Okay, does that kind of make sense? Yeah. All right, so let's, let me move you right over this way so this tree is not in your way. All right, first cast. Woo, that wasn't pretty. Okay, but you gotta let it go, remember? You can use that hand, it doesn't matter, whichever hand you want to. Ooh, that's what we call bird's nest right there. That's also when we're, when we're not following instructions. So let me get this bird's nest out for you real quick. But what? congratulations, you just got your first bird's nest. <laughs> They call it a bird's nest because it looks like a nest that a bird has made when you do that. Is that good or bad? That's bad because we're not fishing. And any time spent not fishing is not good. So we have to pull that out. Now we got to put it all back on there. All right. How many bird nests do you have? Well, all fishermen throw them, but when you release it, 
you want to release your thumb as your rod is coming pointing towards the sky right all right so let's try another one all right that's the worst bird's nest i've ever seen in my life <laughs> this is not not good we may have to try a different tactic all right so our orange crush combo is already out of commission so got we got us rigged up on another combo up here i did bring a backup because i thought this might be harder than we originally thought all right so let's let's see this sideways casting there you go okay now remember okay there now start reeling start reeling hey, there you go that's where your hand goes once you get it out there yeah that's a good cast okay there we go try to get some air under it this time there you go now start reeling it okay good all right now i think i can open the brakes up a little bit more and let you get more distance on your cast there you go boom now reel it start reeling that was your best cast of the day okay try it again there you go that's good that's good very good with the thumb action you like a pro over here <laughs> you look more comfortable doing this than you do with spinning gear oh i know is oh god okay oh my god that reel that that lure is probably gone watch your eye don't look at it ha! don't look right at it oh okay all right so we were just getting used to that lure we had to break it off but it's okay pierce is getting a little bit better at this and i've already got an idea for a better rig to throw anyways all right so we ditched the red crankbait or ditched put it in a tree whatever you want to call it but it's no longer with us so we switched up to a rig that i love almost as much as my wife i'm just kidding babe that's that's just a joke <laughs> we got a little tungsten weight right here pierce and we got a, basically a swim bait a paddle tail swim bait it imitates the natural fish in this water that the bass eat okay this is what they eat it looks just like this so we don't have to do much we just need to cast this bad boy out there and reel it nice and slow with the rod tip down okay there's a bed right over here guys where there's bass on it we're both excited to try to catch it but we're gonna leave them alone for a little bit longer but now pierce here's the important part okay when you cast it out here and you are reeling like this okay so a little bit slower when you feel that when you feel the bite or if all of a sudden your lure just stops moving what you do is see how i just leaned into it don't need to jerk the rod or anything all you need to do is just just turn your body and just turn the rod away from where the fish is okay all right so let's wing it out there very good all right oh god there's another rod and reel here what in the world <laughs> where did this come from look at this this is a 13 a 13 fishing spinning combo oh god with a rattle trap on it what in the world is that yours? no this is not mine what in the world okay who the heck has been fishing my spot and then leaving an entire combo bro this is a nice little bait too what should we do with this pierce i can't just leave trash out here Maybe well leave it. yeah i don't know what we're gonna do with this maybe give it away to somebody i don't know well let's move that out of the way for right now here where are my polarized sunglasses just for a minute okay so you see the circle right there so that's his bed so you can just cast anywhere around right on the center of it you see him he's got a black tail see him just he just turned around yeah. you see him he's right yeah. there he's right there man all right oh yeah it's perfect now start retrieving it rod tip down nice and slow slow down nice and slow Ooh, i can't see him because of the wind good cast pierce fantastic not bad good good cast really good cast and be ready be ready when you feel it man just just turn don't even think about it bombed it oh god what was that right there jeez all right for the finale of this video we got pierce with the little chesty that way when he catches his first fish on a bait casting setup we're gonna get to see it first person we've also changed up his lure so we started with the lipless crank that got sacrificed to that tree right there then we moved on to these weighted texas rig swim bait which i really thought would catch them we've gotten some interest but no bites but we've switched to something that's a proven fish catcher that's right guys the weightless watermelon red worm but there's a catch to this awesome lure. Pierce, you should know this lure is excellent at catching fish, but it is weightless, meaning it's gonna be a little bit harder to cast. So we've made some adjustments with his reel. Now he's gotten a lot better. If you guys have seen, he's actually bombing these things out there now, which big credit to the rod and reels, the lose rod and reels, because it made this possible. But he's really learned a lot, but this is gonna put it to the test with a weightless setup. But I think it's also gonna catch him a fish. Let's go. Let's check this form out now. 
Very good. All right. Okay. There you go. That's really close. I just let it fall. Don't do a thing. Come on, you joker. Oh my God. All right. Now I'm just working just a little bit. I mean, just a tad. There you go. I'll leave it. Leave it alone. We want that thing to fall right on top of his head where he just can't say no to it. Guys, if you want to see what we're casting at, there's a little structure in the water right there. Now, that's not a bass made bed. I don't know what that is. It's been in this pond forever, but if I don't know if you guys can see or not, but there is a bass and he's on it. But we think he's been caught before, so he's a little squeamish, but by God, we're gonna catch him. Oh, that's good, let, let it fall, let it fall. All right, Pierce, you got a fish, real, and now swing into it. There you go, did you get him? Swing, keep, keep, oh, dang, we missed him. Oh, boy. Cast him back out there, Pierce. He had a bite, first bite. Did you feel anything? No. Okay, well, he may have come off. Okay, that's not bad. Bite was, oh, my goodness. Check out what I just found, Pierce. Look at this little bluegill right here. Check that, beautiful fish, look at that thing. Man, if we had some a hook to put this sucker on, we'd catch a big bass right there. Look at that thing, guys. That is beautiful. Well, I'm actually saving him because he was going to get washed out down there anyway, so. Oh, there's a little bass right there. Let's see if he swims back out there. There he goes. Took off somewhere. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. We're calling it. Pierce is tired of messing with bait casting gear. I don't blame him. And I am tired of us not catching fish. So the combination of those two things is going to lead us to call this video right now. But I'd say overall for his first time, Pierce did pretty well. He kind of found his comfort zone in that second lure, the weighted Texas rig that he could just chuck really hard and then just wind it on in. You know, he started to have a couple really good casts in there. The weightless worm was a little bit tougher for us, but uh, the real mystery is the fact that we, how we could not get that bedding bass to bite. He was so aggressive, he was constantly chasing things off of his bed the entire time we were out here, but I think he's been caught recently, which brings me to the next point. Who in the world leaves a nice combo like this, just leaves it out here? I mean, I guess it's maybe a it's a present for me. It might be a present for me. So whoever left this, thank you, I'm taking it. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Look. I'm gonna leave this right here. I mean, this person, maybe they had a reason to leave it here. So I'm gonna leave it here, but whoever that is, hey, I did you a favor. Cause I could have just not said anything and taken it, but I'm not that type of person. Also that combo being here makes me think this spot has been getting hammered pretty hard by fishermen. So if I could bet anything of why we didn't catch any fish today, I would say that people have probably just been hammering this spot and the fish are just incredibly pressured right now. We did get a couple bites. I think a couple of them or one of them were, was off camera. But, uh, you know, a couple really close calls almost having fish. But, um, you know, Pierce is a rookie with setting the hook and stuff like that, which is what made this video so much fun to make to begin with. Remember, guys, if we get 2,000 likes, Pierce, we will bring mom back out here, my pregnant wife, Holly, and we will make her use a bait casting combo. So I'm sure Pierce would get some, some kicks out of that make her do it, see if she does any better or worse, or whether she can catch a fish or not. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you're subscribed. It's a red button right below the video. Make sure you make it turn gray, make it say subscribe, duh. Help me get to 100,000 subscribers. We're right there, guys. I know you guys can help me get there. Pierce, anything to add to that? Nope. How do you think you, you did overall? Terrible. Well, I wouldn't say you did terrible. I mean, we started rough, but that's how it's gonna be with a new thing like that. You're gonna start rough. And just to remind everybody what happened to the first one that we started with, that's right, it is all birds nested, but the other one's good to go. We actually had a jerk bait on there, was trying to mess around with that, but uh, yeah, so you handled the second one real well. I mean, it's just, it was your first time, so. Yeah. But uh, you had a couple really good casts in there where you really chucked it out. And I don't think you ever got a bird's nest on that one. So you didn't, so there you go. So. He got the hang of it a little bit more. We just need to do it more often, man, and then we'll get much better at it. Anyways, guys, we are getting out of here on to the next fishing adventure. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you all. Fist bump, we're out.